It's never been done before we started it. It's a very difficult subject to sponsor in any way and create a meaningful competition for big fish anglers. It came with a, quite a repertoire of difficulties and it was open to abuse from um, false claims or inflated claims. So we had to dream up something that overcame most of these problems. Any big fish competition had to be based on good quality photographic evidence of the capture. And this evidence needed to be published in Angling Times and I managed to convince AT that if it was handled correctly it would bring them lots of big fish photographs, which in due course it did. The reports ideally stated accurate weight and gave details of rigs and baits etc, but critically the angler did not have to give up details of the exact location. This element retained the successful angler's confidentiality and overcame a lot of the inherent secrecy associated with some aspects of specimen hunting. Fortunately, we're not involved in the process of judging the winners. We do select the best photographs and the biggest fish on a weekly basis in conjunction with Angling Times editorial staff, and that's a sort of committee process. Thereafter, it's the anglers themselves that take over and judge the process. Uh, so the annual winners all are filtered out by people who really know their stuff and are dedicated in that direction. The size of the fish caught um, in order to get into the frame even have moved on dramatically. Um, so I can see by the details on the cup that my old mate Len Arbery won in 1989-90 season with a 14 pound barbell and a six pound chub and nowadays they wouldn't even qualify. Uh, I think we've had to set a limit on the trend of 17 pound barbell now um, uh, and six pound chub. Well, you know, everybody catches six pound chub thanks to signal crayfish or whatever. So things have definitely moved on. The evolution of the tackle and the techniques have been a major influence and they've gone together with the baits. And there's no question that on the carp fisheries, in particular where spotting and what have you goes on, the fish get fed and they get this um, injection of high protein food. And by gosh, they have grown on. So um, poor old Len wouldn't get anywhere with his 14 pound barbel and his six pound chub, God bless him. But he was a very, very good angler. <laughs> I have to say that to win it nowadays, you really have to dedicate yourself. You've got to have a run of luck that goes with it. So you have to start your season off with some big tench or big bream or something and then you have to think, I don't know, I've got a chance uh, and perhaps concentrate on river fish in the back end of the season to make things work. And the list of big fish nowadays is absolutely fantastic. And in the, in the most recent year, when a dedicated angler can catch a 10 pound eel, which I've never seen in my little life, um, and come second, just shows how the standard has gone up. As far as not notable captors is concerned, um, you've, you've got to pick out Terry Lampard, who won it seven times. And I think he was runner-up a few times as well. He just had a massive purple patch. Not only was he a great angler, a great, great angler, lovely man, um, but he was in the right place at the right time. So he, he lived down the south there, he was on the Stour and, and the Avon and um, he would got some very productive still waters. Um, but he really did set a standard which will be extremely difficult to surpass. Terry Lamps, God bless him, deceased now but what a lovely, lovely angler. A quiet man and he caught an awful lot of fish. He's got a heritage. So after 35 years, um, there's considerable heritage in there. Of, of class anglers dedicated to catching big fish. Strange pursuit, but that's what they want to do, and it's got this heritage now. It, there's a small prize that goes with the weekly winners and things like that, it doesn't, make, doesn't account for anything. As anglers want to win the Drennan Cup uh, because of that heritage and to join their names to others, that's nice.